So we got here today a sealed case of Hasbro's Star Wars The Vintage Collection Wave 29, fresh off the truck, imported directly from Hasbro. This full case and single releases were available for pre-order in late 2020 and subsequently released between February and March of this year on most online and in-store retailers such as EntertainmentEarth.com, which is where I actually got this particular case from. That includes a total of eight of these three and three quarter inch figures for a whopping $109.99. Each figure individually costing on average $13.75. However, if you were lucky enough to purchase any of the singular releases in stores or on the Hasbro Pulse website, you would have scored them for $12.99 a piece. One thing I'll say right off the rip is that the quality control on this particular case, specifically the Vintage Collection packaging itself, isn't the greatest, judging by how you can clearly see the warped card backs right as you open the box. Which is a shame considering this is directly from Hasbro, so there's no excuse for that in my opinion. We have two Baby Yodas or Grogu's, we have two Grief Kargas, two Return of the Jedi Boba Fett's, one ESB Bespin Escape Princess Leia, and one A New Hope Zutin or Zutin, Snaggletooth, whatever you want to call the character and however you prefer to pronounce it. All of these figures are very appealing to the eyes with the artwork on the card backs, all the imagery, as well as this wave as a whole having a very original trilogy centric theme going with it, bringing to light two entirely brand new body sculpts including Boba Fett as well as Grief Karga. The Grogu figure technically is repacked from a prior release with his buddy Mando. This time around, the figure includes some new accessories, such as the hovering pram with the removable roof covers, as well as a stand, and even a frog to accompany our little green friend. Sadly, our second of the two Grogu's has a severed arm. <laughs> Now, the Bespin Escape Leia figure is the first new interpretation of the character from the Bespin Escape scenes in Empire Strikes Back since the 2001 Power of the Jedi Bespin Escape Leia figure. For this particular version though, Hasbro reused parts of the Vintage Collection Leia Hoth figure from 2010, added a new head, removed the gloves, and gave her new lower legs, so it's more or less a high hybrid combination of some new and old parts, so I wouldn't really classify her as an entirely new figure like the others in the wave that I've mentioned so far. Now this Grief Karga figure, like I said, is an entirely new body sculpt. The figure's likeness to Kara Weathers, the actor who portrays Grief Karga, is most impressive I will say. With a highly photorealistic head and face sculpt, with a barrage of detail across the body, including a single blaster pistol as an accessory. For me, Boba Fett is the highlight of the entire wave because, similar to Bespin Leia, this is the first time in years that Hasbro has attempted to redo the Return of the Jedi version of Fett in the three and three quarter inch scale, making this perhaps the modern day definitive three and three quarter inch Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. The helmet, the armor, the paint application, the jetpack, the blaster rifle, everything looks exactly like the on-screen appearance of Boba in Return of the Jedi. And last but not least, Zutin, Zutin, a background character from A New Hope. This is technically a single release repack of the Snaggletooth figure that was released years ago in the very same toy line, being included in the Villains 3-pack, if you all remember correctly. While this particular version of that figure retains an identical body sculpt, it appears to have had fully updated paint applications, making it quite frankly superior to its predecessor from all those years ago. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on upload notifications, share this video. Let's get this video to 20 likes. We're gonna do an action figure giveaway at 2,000 subscribers.